Facebook, YouTube, and here on Instagram. And we are playing EFI's India Environment Quiz. And preparing today's quiz question bank was a nightmare. Every image I had to see of that snake was only going to come back later in the evening to haunt me, I'm sure. So here we go. Question one. Dash family. Question one. Dash family is by far the largest family of snakes by taxonomy. Dash family is by far the largest family of snakes by taxonomy. Dash family is by far the largest family of snakes by taxonomy. See, there are families of every animal genus that's been divided. There is one particular family of snakes, one genus with close to 300 odd species within that genus. We're asking you to name that largest family of snakes by taxonomy. Yes, Ashok Gautam has given us an answer on Facebook. We're seeing you after a long Ashok. Welcome back. Anuradha Man has given an answer. I'm waiting for a few answers on YouTube. We are waiting for answers. Here, Archana has given us an answer. Krish underscore music. We are waiting for your answer. You are excited about the snake quiz. And we see many answers coming in. Are you don't answer with a question mark? I'm not going to verify your answer. So we are asking you dash family of snakes is the largest family of snakes by taxonomy. We're going to question two. We're going to question two. Self-doubt, uh, he says. We're going to question two. The only snake, the only snake reportedly found in Lakshadweep. The only snake reportedly found in Lakshadweep. Remember, Lakshadweep as an island, some islands don't even have crows. Most islands don't have dogs. And can you imagine what life would be without dogs? I can even understand being without dogs, snakes, but not without dogs. And there are islands in Lakshadweep where there are no snakes found. But there are a few islands in Lakshadweep where you can find this particular snake. The only snake. Yes, we have answers coming in. Tushara, is it the king cobra? Uh, the only snake to be found in Lakshadweep. No dogs, no crows, almost no snakes, just for this one snake. We are asking you here on YouTube, on Facebook, and here on Instagram to give us the answer of the only snake to be found in Lakshadweep. The land of fish, whales, shark, dolphins. Viper thumbs up is the answer from Tushara for the only snake found in Lakshadweep. Let's wait and watch if that's the correct answer. Yes, let's, let's build on this now a little bit, OK? The next four questions that I'm going to ask you is about the big four. The next four questions that I'm going to ask you is about the big four. Within the hundreds of snakes that can be found in the Indian wild, we have venomous and non-venomous snakes. In that list of venomous snakes, there are four. There are four super venomous snakes. And I, I wish I could use some common lingo, but some of it may not be appropriate for online, for an audience of such as of your, all your stature, tongue-tied. I'm just not able to use adjectives to describe the, describe the force and the vigor with which these snakes strike. So the next four questions is about the big four. And here is the first question. Of the big four venomous snakes of India, you wouldn't even realize if this one bites you. If untreated, in four to five hours, the victim might succumb. This might be the most dangerous of the four. Name this snake. 
of the big four venomous snakes of India, you wouldn't even realize this one's bite. If untreated, in four to five hours, the victim might succumb. And this, and this particular snake, and this particular snake could very much be the most venomous or most deadly of all the four. And to give you a little bit more details, it's a nocturnal snake. And if you're sleeping, and if this snake bites you, why should I talk about you? Let me talk about myself. If I'm sleeping and then the snake bites me, I may not even realize that the snake has bitten me and I would never get up because in my sleep, I would pass away because of ventricular contraction of some kind of a breathing difficulty. Four to five hours, if untreated, if untreated, yes. We're not trying to create panic amongst all of you about snakes, but it's just to show how deadly some snakes can be. And this one of the big four is the deadliest. The zoologist has given an answer. Atwal has given an answer. I'm looking out for this user called Sundar Rocks. Sundar Rocks, if you're part of today's quiz, please give me two thumbs up. There's a reason why we are asking you to identify yourself. I feel like the captain in an airline who's just making this announcement. If you're a passenger here with this baggage tag, please identify yourself to the nearest staff member of the airline. So Sundar, if you're part of this quiz, give us two thumbs up. Hi, Amol. Hi, Akash. Welcome to quiz. Today's India Environment quiz is all about snakes of India. Yeah, snakes of India. And we have Anuradha man giving the answer in multiple languages. So here I'm going to go to the next question. It's about the second uh, big snake of the total four. This venomous snake of the big four is so dangerous in its habitat that a certain other harmless snake, which is the rough scaled sand boa, has developed an exterior to look like this venomous snake. Look, look how deadly that is. This venomous snake of the big four. Remember, there are big four snakes classification in India of the four most venomous snakes in the country. One of the big four is so deadly, it's so dangerous in its own habitat that almost every other snake is so scared of this snake that one harmless snake just to survive and to probably and to probably boss around in that habitat has developed the exterior body to look alike, to look alike this venomous snake. The rough scaled sand boa has developed an exterior to look alike this particular venomous snake of the big four. We are asking you to name that deadly snake. What a mirror image. One is a deadly snake with that appearance and the other is an extremely harmless snake in that same habitat who just wants to survive and probably boss around. Go to the local stores and then just say, give me all of it for free because I'm that particular snake. We never know. So we are asking you, the rough scale sand boa is aping which snake of the big four? Viper, which viper, if that's the answer? Ankita ji. Isn't this interesting? This is like some of the heavily built muscular men and women who go to the gym, who come out to like Showcase those movie stars. We've asked you a question for part of EFI's India Environment Quiz. And today is, yes, mimicry. Ashok's given us um, details, more details of what this phenomenon is called. It's called mimicry. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Where one particular animal mimics another animal, either by sound, by appearance. And here we have it. Ankita ji's giving us laughing out loud smileys for the previous comment I made. Probably she found some something to relate to, to, to that particular remark. Here we go to question five. Here we go to question five. If you learned about mimicry in the previous question, we're going to learn about stridulation. We're going to learn about stridulation. This venomous snake of the big four 
this venomous snake of the big four is known for its stridulation name the snake this venomous snake of the big four is known for its stridulation and if you're wondering what stridulation is in in the animal world a few animals especially insects and select set of snakes they rub certain body parts of their own and they make certain noises yeah that's called stridulation so we are asking you which of the four which one particular snake of the big four is known for stridulation remember we are not just asking you to name the snakes we are bringing to you information about their behavior in the previous question we learned what is mimicry one particular snake of the big four is so deadly that another non venomous harmless boa sand boa apes its body to look like this venomous snake and that's called mimicry here we are asking you there is one particular snake of the big four which rubs certain body part against its own body and it makes certain noise patterns that's called stridulation we are asking you which snake is known of, of the big four which snake is known for stridulation question 6 it's time for question 6 and i have a user who goes by the name underscore w underscore e underscore a underscore p underscore o underscore n underscore x who says they'll rub their keel scales to make a saw sound so many snake enthusiasts part of today's quiz i'm just forced to read all your names however big they are and complicated they are because we don't want to get any of you yes whatsapp dp i don't know what's the whatsapp dp of this person here is question 6 vasuki is please don't tell me my fourth grade english teacher or my aunt's name we are not asking any of that vasuki is and there ends the question remember today's quiz is about snakes of india and we are asking you vasuki is it's interesting how on instagram people who just come together for the quiz know each other that they are commenting on each other's whatsapp dps i don't even know who this user is underscore w underscore e whatever the big name how wonderful would it be if you gave us your names we can call you by your name and not go by all these lingos i mean it's your profile you can do what you want we just playing around we are asking you question 6 vasuki is we have another user 3 bracket 1t3.666 vasuki is anuradha ma'am has given me an answer i think most of you have looked at one common place where we're getting a common answer and i have one answer which excites me and i'm not going to tell you who's whose answer that is vasuki is we move on we move on to question 7 we went to lakshadweep how can we leave behind kashmir yeah we have to go to every extreme corner of india gunas gunas is the local kashmiri name for this venomous snake gunas is the local kashmiri name for this venomous snake name the snake gunas is the local kashmiri name for this venomous snake shiva snake was the answer for the previous question from sharmila i'm waiting for answers for this question we're playing efi's india environment quiz and today is snakes of india snakes of india and in snakes of india i'm asking you question 7 is it with a question mark i'm not going to take that answer the levantine viper says udushi ankita also says levantine viper we have to wait and see that's the correct answer gunas in the local kashmiri is the local kashmiri name for which venomous snake 
Gunas is the local Kashmiri name for which venomous snake? Here is an interesting question. Let's try answering this. You can distinguish between snakes on their certain characteristics by certain body observations of that particular snake. Yeah, I'm being very careful in the usage of my words. I don't want to give away one word or the other which would help you find the answer faster. By certain body descriptions or body observations of snakes, you can distinguish between snakes whether they are... Yeah? So here it is. If the snake's tail is rattling, if the snake's tail is rattling, the snake is... What an open-ended question. What an open-ended question. I'm sure you'll be able to find this answer. Most of you might even know the answer. If the tail of the snake rattles, that snake is... If the tail of the snake rattles, the snake is... Rattlesnake. Really? Would the answer be that simple? No, 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 it's not rattlesnake. Give me a better answer. I'm forced to tell you all that it's not rattlesnake. If the snake's tail rattles, remember, I'm not asking for the name. I'm asking for a characteristic of that snake. That's why I was careful in asking this question. It's not rattlesnake. Ah, okay, I have an answer which talks about a characteristic. If the snake's tail rattles, can you identify yourself by your name underscore w underscore e and complete and <laughs> complete your name yourself, please? Because it would really help us. You seem to have some interesting answers about animals, especially snakes. We are asking you if the snake's tail rattles. Vivi Paris. Tushara says Vivi Paris. If the snake's tail rattles, what is the snake's characteristic? Tushara has given an extensive answer. Here on YouTube, here on Facebook, and here on Instagram, we're playing EFI's India Environment Quiz, part of our Environment Day celebrations too. And we are focusing on snakes of India. It's Shri Ram. Shri Ram is an EFI member too. Unfortunately, I didn't notice you. Remember, I'm giving you a reminder. We're running a contest on EFI called Asli Hero. Yeah. Hold a placard like this. Tell us if you're an Asli Hero for planet, planet Earth. What have you been doing for India's environment? Are you composting? Are you using only vegetable dye clothing? Are you not using shampoo soap? Don't you have any polythene at home? Whatever small way you're contributing to India's environment, write that as a message on a one-side paper like this. Click a picture, send it to us on Facebook, Instagram, in all by all means to our website also through email IDs and more. We would post your story as a collage of all the Asli heroes of India, and each Asli hero would be awarded, rewarded with an e-book on India's environment by us at EFI. June 5th is World Environment Day, the most important day for us. And we want to celebrate that day with Asli heroes. It's time for question nine, part of Snakes of India quiz. And here we go. It's a big question. It's a big question. So please, yes. Yes, carry pictures. Amkita, finally, somebody is there to share my trauma of today. Here is question nine. Here is question nine. Red touch yellow. The body is red, touch yellow. It's a coral snake. This snake is dash. Red, touch black. It's the scarlet king snake. And this snake is dash. Now look at this. Listen carefully. Yeah. Whole idea of this quiz is to learn. So let's please put in that bit more. Two minutes for this question alone. Red, touch yellow. The snake's body has red touch yellow and it's the coral snake. This snake is dash. 
there's another snake which is red touch black and it's the scarlet king snake and this snake is dash five three minutes into the search i will give you a hint also yeah colorful question yes are i have given you the name scarlet king snake the scarlet king snake which is red touch black see the coral snake has a yellow rim the scarlet king snake has a black rim okay now the scarlet king acha the scarlet king snake is dash the coral snake is dash yes i see answers coming in please remember question 8 and question 9 we are trying to identify characteristics of these snakes yes and, and we are trying to learn something here go on to google just go on to google or any i shouldn't be promoting google go to any web search platform red and yellow is what red and black is what yes renuka money ma'am has an answer this will help you the both the snakes look alike both the snakes look alike one snake is dash one snake is another dash i just don't want to give away the answer many of you are doing the right search touch yellow kill a fellow red touch black venom black ah what an answer what an answer venomous and non venomous if both these snakes just think about this we are out there in the open wild there are venomous snakes that we'll have to keep away from there are non venomous snakes whom we should still not disturb but we don't have to be so petrified so red touch yellow is what red touch black is what i'm playing this quiz with some smart people i must tell you while framing this question i really thought it's going to take a lot of time for many of us because i was thinking at my level if you ask me this question if i was not your quiz master i i wouldn't even know what to answer but i am playing this quiz with probably people who are designing robots or teaching robots how to replace human beings whom am i kidding such wonderful smart people let's move to question 10 let's move to question 10 snakes of india quiz part of efi's india environment quiz listen carefully it's a big question it's a big question it's my it's shri krishna's favorite question okay and the question that i'm asking you a primitive burrowing snake a primitive burrowing snake when handled in its defense behavior would defecate the snake is nocturnal it's found in agricultural uh, beds this snake is known to dig tunnels it's harmless it never bites name the snake look if you just find this name look at everything that you would have just learned about this snake a primitive burrowing snake when handled in defense would just defecate in your hand or on your body wherever yeah this snake is nocturnal it's found in agricultural beds soft soil under vegetation and it digs tunnels and it ha and it's harmless never bites kushi is in kushi on top of the game with this question look at how she came with a bang answer i have to just see if that's the correct answer when we go to the answer section ashok has a detailed explanation for the previous question listen to this ashok gautam on facebook says red with black friend to jack red next to yellow kill the fellow is a quite popular phrase in america let's come up with such stuff to remember our snakes to remember our primates canines felines our birds and more the elliot's shield shield tail snake also called common sand boa terrestrial snakes so many answers coming in here on youtube facebook instagram you're playing efi's india environment quiz and today's quiz is all about snakes of india remember we are celebrating
celebrating World Environment Day this Saturday. If you're an Asli hero, if you're an Asli hero, make a placard like this, telling us why you're an Asli hero. Yeah, tell us why you're an Asli hero with a photo. Yeah, holding a placard telling us what you've done for the planet. We're gonna make a collage of India's Asli heroes. Gautam, Ashok Gautam, if you have any extra information with regards to this question also, please. Sare Pambu says, Anuradha, ma'am. Gautam, we would love to learn from you if you have any extra information about this particular question. I'm moving to question 11. It's already 7.30. We have five more questions to go. Here is question 11. Name the largest non-venomous species found in India. Name the largest non-venomous species found in India. Remember, we are talking about snakes of India. So give me the name of the largest non-venomous species found in India. Here on YouTube, Facebook, and on Instagram. Ashok says, he's given an answer for the previous question. He's called it the shield tails and he says, they're only found in parts of South India and Sri Lanka. Such a pride and a pleasure to watch, observe these animals. Truly, Ashok, wonderful that is. Anuradha ma'am has given an answer. Ankita has given an answer. Tushara has given an answer. The user with the difficult profile name has given an answer. Who happens to be Sri Ram from EFI. And I've asked you question 11. Name the largest non venomous species found in India. Many answers have come in. I'm moving to question 12. I'm moving to question 12. Let's go to Rajasthan. Let's go to the Thar Desert. Looks like they have two heads. They bury themselves to escape the heat of the Thar Desert. Identify this snake that is endangered owing to poaching. It looks like this snake has two heads. But in reality, they just have one head. The tail resembles the head. They bury themselves to escape the heat of the Thar Desert. Identify this snake that is endangered owing to poaching. You know, Sri Ram, with Tez, which with which Tez, which means with energy and like real fast action, you have to change your name so that we actually get to call you by your name here on Instagram. Yeah. Question 12, looks like they have two heads. I can't stop grinning. Looks like they have two heads. They bury themselves to escape the heat of the Thar Desert. Identify the snake that is endangered owing to poaching. Yes, there are answers coming in, fast coming in. Ashok, Renuka, Mani Ma'am, Anuradha Ma'am, we're all waiting for your answers. I still can't stop grinning. We're playing Snakes of India quiz. We're in question 12. And come on, let's make this quiz a little bit filmy. Yeah? We're going to question 13. We're going to question 13. Movies in India, movies or even television series in India often represent, don't look for the grammar in this question, okay? The grammar in this question is ruined. Just enjoy our creativity. Movies in India represent represent snakes with a vengeance kill back this non venomous water snake is a there is a hint in that question look for the hint in the question movies or television series in india represent snakes represent snakes with a vengeance kill back this non venomous water snake is a you know, this question is just for the fun of it. Don't look for the grammar. Snakes with a vengeance kill back. The non-venomous water snake is a... Yes, I knew that smart people like some robotic engineers won't understand our question. Here it is. Movies in India and series like Nagin tell us that snakes with a vengeance kill back. This non-venomous water snake is a... 
I'm telling you, don't look for grammar in this question. There is a mega hint. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Abhishek. I was really scared nobody would get the question. The non-venomous water snake is a, and the hint lies in the question and in the poor grammar. Movies and teleseries in India represent snakes with a vengeance kill back. This non-venomous water snake is a, there. We have multiple answers coming in. On Facebook, I'm still waiting for answers from our participants. And here on YouTube, we have Sriram, we have Ch Mr. Chandrasekhar. Thank you, thank you both of you for giving us answers here on YouTube. We do Icha Dari Nagin. Ah, what an interesting answer. Is Icha Dari Nagin the answer? We're moving to question 14. You know, the number of snake species in India, that number keeps changing because science and ecology, biodiversity in general is so vast that man may not, man or woman may not have documented everything. Yes. So here is the question. Name the latest species of a snake to be listed. It's not the Ichadari Nagin. No, it's not that dramatic. Come to question 14 now. Name the latest species of a snake to be listed after being sighted at Eravikulam and Mishapulimala. It's a certain wood snake. It's a certain wood snake. Name the latest species of a snake to be listed after being sighted at Eravikulam and Mishapulimala. It's a wood snake. Yes. And this documentation happened as early as 2020, as late as 2020, not earliest, as late as 2020. Just last year, science and taxonomy has a new addition, has a new addition. Okay. Renuka Mani Ma'am has given me an answer. And this particular snake, a wood snake, was discovered, was sighted at Eravikulam and Mishapulimala. Name the snake. Joseph's racer snake. Racer snake. Look at the place that I asked. Eravikulam and Mishapulimala. Eravikulam and Mishapulimala as late as 2020. In the taxonomical books, we've added a snake species. It's not like that the snake just came out to earth in 2020. Science and researchers, how difficult it must be, you know, to be out there in those difficult conditions, to do research in under all the threats without disturbing ecology, to carry forward research work, to identify species, to observe them. What life? Hats off to all our researchers, especially our herpetologists, to everybody who's in science. Here is our last question for the day. Last question for the day. Snakes of India. Yeah. Okay. Please listen carefully again. I mean, grammar in this question is still okay. But you have to use your extra brain to understand our question formation today. Sundarbans. Sundarbans is home to the big cat, the tiger. It is also a home. It is also home to a snake whose name carries a particular word that cats may not like. Name the snake. Sundarbans is home to the big cat, which is the tiger. It's also home to a certain snake. And the name of the snake carries a particular word which cats may not like. Name the snake. We waiting for your answers, uh, Aparna ma'am, Anuradha ma'am, Renuka Mani ma'am, ji, and here on YouTube, Sri Ram ji, Chandra ji, we are waiting for your answers. Instagram is taking time to answer. Tushara, is it the Russell's viper? Rattlesnake. 
What is the word that cats don't like? Ah, there is an answer. Sundarbans is home to tigers and tiger is a cat. Sundarbans is also home to a particular snake in whose name there is a word that cats don't like. Tushara has given an answer. Shri Ram has given an answer. Ankita has given an answer. I'm waiting for Shri Ram Ji, Chandra Ji on YouTube. I'm waiting for Renuka Mani Ma'am. Uh, okay, we have answers here coming up on Facebook too. For a difference, let's go from question one today. The Colibridae. The Colibridae is by far the largest family of snakes in taxonomy. The Colibridae is by far the largest family of snakes by taxonomy. Second question. The Brahmini blind snake, the Brahmini blind snake is the one that's the only snake to be reportedly found in certain islands of Lakshadweep. Brahmini blind snake. Of the four big venomous snakes, you wouldn't even realize if this, if this one bites you and you may succumb to its bite in four to five hours. It's one of the deadliest of the big four. It's the common crate, the common crate. The Russell's Viper, the Russell's Viper is the deadliest snake in its habitat that the, that the rough scaled sand boa mimics, mimics the exterior of the Russell's Viper. Common crate, Russell's Viper, the venomous snake known for stridulation is a saw scaled viper. Stridulation is when they make C-shaped cusps and it rubs body parts to make certain noise, like water sizzling noise. And that's the saw scaled viper. Vasuki is the Indian cobra. Vasuki, the snake around Lord Shiva, by our mythology, is the Indian cobra. The Indian cobra, the saw scaled viper, the Russell's viper, and the common crate make the big four, make the big four. Common crates are very shy, says Sri Ram. Thank God they're very shy. Just imagine if they were social and if they accidentally bit you and you didn't even know that they bit you, four to five hours later, we would be dead. I'm so grateful they're shy. Let them be shy. Gunas. Gunas. Gunas is the local Kashmiri name. Gunas is the local Kashmiri name for the Kashmiri pit wiper. Kashmiri pit wiper. Yes. If its tail is rattling, if a snake's tail rattles, that snake is venomous. That's a behavior to observe and identify if that snake is venomous or not. Yeah. And also look at this. Certain other snakes in rough, uh, in, in, in rough garden patches, when they move around dry leaves, they may try to make rattling noises. Don't confuse that with snake's tail rattling. A venomous snake's tail rattles. Red touch yellow is venomous. Red touch black is harmless. Please do a Google search of the coral snake and the scarlet king snake. They both look alike, but the slender difference in them, one is venomous, one is not. That's nature. What a beauty. The shield tail snake. The shield tail snake is the primitive burrowing snake. If you try to handle it, it would defecate in your hand. It's nocturnal, it's found in agricultural beds, it digs tunnels, it's so harmless, it never even bites. The Indian rock python is the largest non-venomous species found in India. The sand boa, or to be more specific, the red sand boa is that snake which resembles head and tail also, uh, head and tail alike. It looks like they have two heads and it's found in the Thar Desert, it burrows under the sand to stay away from the heat. And the thing about this particular snake is that it's so endangered because of poaching. Okay, here is our creative question. Snakes with a vengeance kill back. Grammatically wrong, but snakes with a vengeance kill back. This non-venomous water snake is a kill back. Come to question 14. The Anamalai wood snake is the latest addition to taxonomy. And it was found in Eravikulam and Misapulimala. 
there was also a snake which was uh, discovered in koina wildlife sanctuary it's named after that individual also who found it mr thakre so please there are so many snakes and come to question 15 cats don't like dogs and uh, the big cat in sundarbans is the tiger and the snake which dominates the sundarbans is the dog faced water snake the dog faced water snake with that we come to an end to today's efi's india environment quiz thank you chandra ji shri ram ji on youtube for joining us please do join us tomorrow again at 7 pm for our state quiz and which state are we going to we're going to the state of milk and sweets and we're going to discover the animals of that state we're going to the state of milk and sweets and we're going to identify several animals trees flowers fruits rivers from that snake chips from that snake see i want to say state and snake is still in my head i'm saying snake we're going to the state tomorrow of milk and sweets do join us here on youtube with that we close our broadcast on youtube thanking each of you for participating today's india environment quiz snakes of india quiz thank you jai hind i come to